Hello and welcome back to our digital electronics series. Today, we're going to dive into designing combinational logic circuits. Combinational logic is the backbone of digital electronics, and understanding how to design these circuits is crucial for any aspiring engineer or tech enthusiast. Let's get started. Combinational logic circuits are digital circuits in which the output state is determined solely by the current input states, without any memory or feedback loops. This means the output is a direct function of the inputs at any given time. Some common examples of combinational logic circuits include adders, multiplexers, and decoders. The fundamental building blocks of combinational logic circuits are logic gates, such as AND, OR, and NOT gates, which we covered in our previous episodes. These gates can be combined to form more complex circuits. To design a combinational circuit, we start with a truth table, which maps the input combinations to the desired output states. From the truth table, we can derive the Boolean expression that represents the circuit's logic. Let's break down the steps to design a combinational logic circuit, define the problem, identify the desired functionality of the circuit. What do we want the circuit to do? Create the truth table, list all possible input combinations and their corresponding output values. Derive the Boolean expression, use the truth table to write the Boolean expression for the output. Simplify the expression using Boolean algebra, or Carnot maps. Draw the logic diagram, translate the simplified Boolean expression into a schematic using logic gates. Here are some tips to keep in mind when designing combinational logic circuits, simplify Boolean expressions, Use techniques like Carnot maps or Boolean algebra to minimize the number of gates. Minimize gate delays, choose the appropriate type and arrangement of gates to reduce propagation delay. Optimize for power consumption, design circuits with fewer gates and lower power consumption. Test your circuit, use simulation software to verify the functionality before physical implementation. That's a quick overview of designing combinational logic circuits. By following these steps and tips, you can create efficient and effective digital circuits. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. See you next time.